It's a breaking news. Yes, a day after Palestinian militant group Hamas launched its brutal attack on Israel, a curious video emerged out of Tehran's Azadi Stadium. Hundreds of soccer fans gathered to watch a match between Paris FC and Golgoers Region FC, chanted in unison, Soap the Palestinian flag up your area. The vulgar protest came in response to officials attempting to raise a Palestinian flag in the stadium to show support for the October 7 attack, but for the fans, it was another unwelcome mixing of politics and soccer and a stark reminder of the Iranian government's involvement in proxy battles in a far-flung areas. Hamas attack which killed 1,400 people according to Israeli authorities prompted a fire aerial campaign on Gaza that has so far killed more than 7,000 people according to the health ministry in Hamas controlled Gaza. And the other now concerns that more fronts will open in the work including one with Iran. Experts say that while Iran is wary of being dragged into the Israel Hamas war, it may not be in full control if the Militias it backs in the region independently intervene as Hamas force heavy blows and the death toll in Gaza continues to mount. What connects all these groups to Iran is their anti-Israel policies, said Sima Sain, head of the Iran program at the Institute for National Security Studies in Tel Aviv, noting that while Iran was varying levels of influence over the groups, it does not dictate all their actions. In the early days after October 7 attacks, questions were raised about Iran's potential involvement in the killings. Tehran at the time commanded the operation but was quick to deny any hand in it. Initial US intelligence also suggested that Iranian officials were surprised by Hamas attack and that Tehran was not directly involved on its planning, resourcing or approval, CNN has reported. Despite its denial, however, Iran has ramped up its rhetoric against its arch enemy. Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahian was warned that Israel's bombardment of Gaza could have far-reaching consequences, saying that if Israel does not hold its airstrike, it is highly probable that many other fronts will be open. This option is not ruled out and this is becoming increasingly more probable, he told Al Jazeera last week. On Monday, Abdullah Hain said that US has sent Iran two messages regarding escalation in the region. The first message said that the United States is not interested in expanding the war and the second message asked Iran to have self restraint and insisted that Iran should not ask other countries and other sides to have self restraint. Abdullah Hain said during a news conference in Tehran Monday without saying how and when the message were delivered. He added that while the US says it wants to de-escalate, it has contradicted itself by continuing to support Israel.